the whole city of Huntsville is saturated with Roll Tide. But myself, no, sir. I don't even really get into college football. I'm an NFL, NBA guy. Who's your NFL team? Chicago Bears. Are you a Bears fan? Big time. All right, all right. Oh, look, look at that. You're getting a, you're getting a, a microphone. <laughs> all right, so uh, so here's the deal. Uh, Chicago Bears, they're all right. I like them, but I'm a huge Chicago Cubs fan. Oh, I'm a, I'm a see me. I grew up in what we call the hood. So the sports for the hood are NFL and NBA. There's baseball as well, but primarily NFL and NBA. Chicago Bulls, Derrick Rose, Michael Jordan. Chicago Bears, Brian Erlacher, Julius Peppers. You know, Brian Erlacher actually comes from where I'm from. He's from Tennessee? No, he's from New Mexico. You're from New Mexico. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I just Mexico. learned something. He was from, I think he was from Lovington. I want to say Lovington, New Mexico, or, or Love, New Mexico. Somewhere down there, those, those, those football players in, like, southern New Mexico. They feed them something. Dude, they're farm boys, like, West Texas farm boys, you know Thick what I'm saying? Thick neck, out the womb exactly. type. I so, got you. Uh, so, yeah, Brian Erlach actually went to the University of New Mexico. If I had not gotten into radio... I would have went and played college football. I would he have been would a be Brian Erlacher. I would no, no man. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a chunky lineman, man. And this guy's six three, two twenty. Yeah, I wish I was two twenty. I wish. <laughs> the, I love you. All right. So real quick, I know. Sure. I know we got we got to get back to the red carpet. Let's go. Um, but here's the deal. What's new with Vic? You said you sent me some new songs in my in my inbox. Yeah. You're like Chris Chicago. You never responded to me. We're not friends anymore. But you're gonna resend them to me. See, Chris has a problem with checking email. I sent him songs four months ago. He didn't respond to them. Therefore, I have a new promoter. Mark that. No, seriously, though. I'm, I'm joking. But seriously, uh, um, new album, R4, came out a few months ago. Billboard Top 20. Uh, um, nom uh, almost nominated for the Stellar last year. Almost nominated for a Stellar Award again this year. Uh, about to be sending new music to Chris Chicago. God is amazing. Go with me to be promoted on radio. Just did a video for uh, God is Amazing with KJ52. It's available now. Launched a new Vivo channel. Uh, so you can check my stuff out on Vivo. Go. And your videos are dope. Like you're, you're you. no joke. Everything you do, by the way, if you've never seen any of his videos or heard any of his music, Everything is top-notch quality. Like you Thank guys, you. you guys spare no expense. Thank you. It's not like some random indie artist stuff. Like you guys do stuff top-notch. Seriously. Thank you. Glory to God, man. And that's that's a real big thing. We try to promote learning from cats like Jeff Adams, learning from cats like Chicago Shamrock. We're trying to make it happen and just do it in the spirit of excellence, uplifting the Lord, and like he said, sparing no expense. So you know. All right. Well, thank you so much. How can we get a hold of you? Give give us the websites. Um, just Facebook, hit me up. Twitter. Just hit me up at r four. Ever.com. So R, the number four, Ever.com. That's my movement, R Forever, R4. Get at me. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm at your mom's crib, wherever you want to get me at. All right, tell your friends right now, jamthehype.com. We're broadcasting. Going to send it back to Jacob. He's got my man, yeah. Jason. Yeah. In the house. I'll here we back. go. Dude, hey, my man standing right next to me right here is Jason. Jason. Yes, dude. Thank you for coming out, man. Yeah, so what? Tell, tell people what you're going to be doing here, kind of why, why you're here, part of the event. Excited, man. This is like, been a, was at Flavor Fest two years ago, then a year before that, yeah, yeah. so just excited to be back, man. So I'll be performing tonight, and uh, just trying to connect with people, man. Like, okay, what time? What time can they get you? Tonight, I think the concert starts about 6, um, so I don't know exactly what time I go on, but just come see everybody rock. Yeah. Watch the whole thing. You'll, you'll see everybody. My man Jason performing. Tell them what you're going to perform because I know you came out with a new album. It was in February, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Tell, tell people about that, that album, kind of like what it's about and what you'll be going to be performing tonight. Yeah, my latest album is called Growing Pains. came out in February. And honestly, it was just about the reality of every Christian goes through situations. We don't have to hide it. We don't have to mask it. But those situations, God uses them that we might grow through our pain. So that's really the premise of the whole album. It's very transparent and very real. Um, so tonight you'll hear some of the songs off of there, like I'll Do Secrets, which is a song about child sexual abuse. It's a really heavy song. Um, it's All Right featuring Mike's Chair. And a couple of hyper joints like Brand New, Hence the Shirt, Brand New, and uh, We Not Folding. So. Dope. Okay. And then how about touring, man? What are you doing right now, like out on the road? Like people want to know about where you at, where they can see you. What's what's going on? Yeah, man. I've been traveling so much. Next week we start the Beast Mode Tour. Uh, it's me, Shalin, um, Stephen the Levite, Theory Has It, and Beautiful Eulogy. So that's gonna be crazy. We'll be on we'll be on the West Coast 
for a week, then we'll be um, in the, um, on the south for a week, and then we'll be in the Midwest. You hitting San Diego, man? You know what? We're not in San Diego, but we'll be really, really close to San Diego. We'll be in uh, Oakland. We got um, Richmond. Um, that's all. And like a few other places. Okay, so the L.A., probably the L.A. area yeah, a little LA bit more. Area. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, and is anybody else going out on that tour? You said Sha was Shailene, Stephen a Levite, uh, which those were all from Lamp Mode, but we connected yeah. with Humble Beast, which yeah. is Beautiful Eulogy, and Theory Has It. Yeah. So we all are just going on tour together. Just want to display unity in the body and also be able to just put on a dope show. It's going to be crazy. You don't want to miss it. Okay. Yeah, that's it, man. I think we're going to go out back out to the, to the house out here with Chris. Chicago. Here's what's about to go down. Your boy Chris Chicago, they took me off of the red carpet because they know I like to get crazy. They know when I see big dudes, I like to go UFC style. And especially when it's a first time interview, we set up a cage. I put you in chokeholds and see if you can handle that. I'm good, man. I, I, I got a house. I got a house full, full of for the women that I live with, because I got daughters, and so I'm not scared of you. I'm, I'm just kidding, man. Here's the deal. I have not eaten any food yet, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little rambunctious right now. Yeah. I've had coffee, so I'm a little like, yeah. <laughs> Hungry and wired. All right, so this dude right here, he's an artist I've just been introduced to. His name is Living Proof. You can see it from the shirts. I am Living Proof. And you, where'd you say you were from? South Georgia. You got to talk into the microphone. We uh, I have a ministry out of South Georgia, Statesboro area, around Savannah, and um. We basically, we're the middlemen. You know, we, we have a music ministry, and we go out and we minister in jails and in prisons gotcha. and, uh, <laughs> and high schools. God's really blessed us with, with an opportunity to go into some public schools and talk to kids about Jesus Christ and things that have happened in our lives. And then the other side of it is um, we have an outreach ministry, and we basically, um, we go into homeless shelters. We go into, uh, again, jails and schools, and, and from that group of people, God brings people to us, and, and we're able to um, to help facilitate some of their needs, whether it be a roof over your head or, a, 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 you know, a, something to eat or a couch or a, different things like that. And then we get to build relationships with them um, and disciple them. And, and more than anything, not put a Band-Aid on a gaping wound, but be able to come alongside them and see um, what God does in their, in their life, you know, 9, 10, 11 months down the road when they're still around. And, um, and that's been a blessing. And uh, that's that's what we do, man. So when you say South Georgia, are we talking about like Valdosta? Nah. Are we talking about Nashville, South Georgia? We're Savannah, talking about Tipton, Savannah, Statesboro area. Savannah, States. Oh, so that's like East Coast mm -hmm. Georgia, Southeast. See, I lived. See, because I you didn't sound South Georgia to me. Right, right. I lived it. Believe it or not, yes, your boy lived in South Georgia for like two months, and they all talked like this. They were like yeah. straight up country stuff. Right. We've been just shitting on the porch, and we ain't know nothing about no Christian radio. Yeah. And and I'll tell you this: when I was in Georgia, you know what the number one thing? I've never heard this before in my life. I came from New Mexico. Right. So, they, they everybody would end conversations with, "I appreciate you." I appreciate you. Do you guys do that up in Savannah? Oh, I, yeah. appreciate I appreciate you. Thank you for listening and watching JamTheHop.com right now. I appreciate you. What? Why did? You. you know what? I appreciate the Georgians. See, I appreciate that Georgians do that, but. When you hear it after every conversation, right. it just becomes a little, you're just saying that. You don't really right. appreciate me. No, I appreciate you. You got to talk into your microphone. I said, no, I appreciate you. I do. <laughs> it uh, just becomes a little uh, little contentious. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, come on. Right. You're just saying that because you got this whole Southern charm thing going on. But do you really appreciate me? Tweet us right now. Have you ever had somebody in Georgia say after every sentence that they talk to you i appreciate you you know what i'm talking about because you're from exactly georgia what you're talking about all right well tell us how we can get a hold of uh, living proof uh, give us the websites living proof l-i-v-i-n-p-r-o-o-f dot org and uh the new video will be released today um jc today. tv today jc tv shout out to my man drew yes um k7 k711 next week on z180 uh, again, it's Living Proof Outreach Ministries. I am Living Proof, and the video is called Not Afraid. And uh, be blessed, and I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate you, Living Proof. All right, we're going to send it back to Jacob.
Red carpet, let's do our thing. It's only chatter. Why are you? Can I borrow this for one second? Why aren't you here? I'm just saying. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to take. It's over all the show. good. That's all good. You run your own show, right? So I mean, we we we're gonna segue into what you do out there. So t t tell people what you do. For sure. Um, Kindred Shepherd with BreatheLifeRadio.com. Um, great relationship with the folks over at Jam the Hype. Uh, my homie Mike Laxton, the the homie, the Chris Chicago, not Chris Chicago. Because there's a few of them out there. Yeah, no, there's a new name for him, though. I don't know if, if he told you what's going on, but he's changing it completely. His whole new thing is just poppy. It's Straight up, like, no no the, no Chris Chicago, just poppy. That's that's like the Christian version of calling a man delicious. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. And that's what, I'm, that's what I told him, too, but he's, like, set on it. He's, like, tweeted it out. He's called his wife. He's like, everybody, call me poppy. That's it. Hey, hey Chris, I'm not calling you dad. <laughs> you can forget it. <laughs> okay, so tell people a little bit more about the show. You said you, you know, you, you do a radio show, but what, you know, everybody says they got a radio show nowadays, they're doing this. What is, what is your show about? Praise God. Um, BreatheLifeRadio.com. Actually also partnered with uh, West Coast Fire, my fam. Uh, I do West Coast Fire All Access. I do the video interviews uh, with the CCM artists. BreatheLifeRadio.com. We've been blessed. Um, Facebook, over 7,100 followers. Twitter, over 9,600 followers. YouTube. 2,500 followers, 1.8 million views. Um, God is blessed, man. Breed Life Radio is just right, like bringing the gospel to the people in a way that they probably didn't know they could worship God. You know what I mean? Like all music is worship. Just what are you worshiping? So we're trying to get them to, to flip the script, man, and, and, and recognize that through the music. Same thing Jam the Hype, Hype is doing, man. Just promoting Christ through, through uh, urban, uh, urban culture. Okay. You told me we had a little conversation. I don't know if this is, I'm just going to go off the cuff a little bit. We had a little conversation yesterday. You were telling me about this really amazing idea that's in my area, in my area, on the West Coast, you know? Because people are, dude, I'm going to tell you, San Diego is kind of dead for music. Like, and everybody kind of knows that. So, like, you were telling me about something that was pretty cool. I don't know if you can share it. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm putting too much out there, can you share a little bit about it, just a little of the idea? For sure. Um, I'm not going to co-sign. He's, he's, from, he's in the San Diego area, so I love you, San Diego. You guys are great. You guys are, are primo. He can say negative stuff. I won't. Um, we're actually partnering with a, a club in the area, um, and we're going to do clean comedy Sundays. So you guys be on the lookout for that. We're going to do A-list comics, and when I say A-list, I mean like Wayne Brady, Sinbad, etc., and we're going to include Christian artists opening for those comedians. Um, we're looking at a range of right around $20, $25 for tickets, so it won't be too expensive. The, the venue only seats 204 people, so make sure when that gets out there that you pick up your tickets and you come out. We're going to have do some things like uh, Group One Crew. My, my bad. Washington Projects. And Group One Crew, dude. They're dope. We'll get them as well. But Washington <laughs> Project's opening for Sinbad. And, and uh, Group One Crew opening for Wayne Brady. Um, we're, we're working on, on trying to get some Reach Records artists to come out. Um, big things. God has just really created relationships, you know what I'm saying, and taking advantage of those relationships to further the kingdom, man, to further the gospel. That's beautiful. That's what it's all about, man. That's what Flavor Fest is all about, 2012. So tell people, just real quick, we're going to go to the other camera, but tell people where they can get more information about this. Somewhere on the internet. Google it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Flavor Fest. Uh, oh, BreedLifeRadio.com. Uh, BreedLifeRadio.com. Follow us. Kindred is me on Twitter. Um, Kindred is me on Instagram. Uh, we're, we're blowing this up, you know what I'm saying, on IG right now. So hit us on IG. I am Jacob. Hit him up. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, he I talks talk too much, dude. We going to Chris Chicago out in the house, no, man. Let's wait, go.
You know what I'm doing, right? You know, you know what I'm doing, Fidel. Come on, man. Walk Give it, it to me. Walk it like I'm chain. Walk it, walk it like I'm chain. Walk it like I'm chain. Walk it, walk it like I'm chain. Walk it like I'm chain. Dude, here's my man right here, Fidel. Every time I see this dude, what do I do? What is the first thing I do? Walk it like I'm chain. Walk it, walk it like I'm chain. Walk it like I'm That's chain. like one of my favorite songs ever. Walk it like wow, I'm chain. I made the cut. Dude, Fidel, man, we go back a few years now. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> of course, you're just you're you're one of the hardest working yeah. artists out there in Christian hip hop. Yes. And um and so every year I I just I'm honored to spend time with you, and I'm honored to, right now, have you live at jamthehype.com. Likewise, man. I said the same thing to him before the show started, how, I mean, Jam the Hype has such a high standard. They do such a great job, man. And the fact that they've been stewards and consistent and diligent in this, it, it blesses my soul. Oh, so deep it blesses my soul. Is that a new song from Fidel? No. It might need to be. Featuring Chris Chicago. Be because you got so, you got so, like, Felt it. it was like, man, I, I really felt, felt like that should have been a hook. You know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you hear that, Jacob, man? He says featuring his boy, Chris Chicago. Jacob. <laughs> now, this dude Jacob's on my album. This is my first time seeing him since he came out on my album featuring. Yeah. So. It's kind of, it's you know, and it's kind of cool how you can do that. You can be an artist in the East Coast and in Southern states. You yeah. can have an artist in San Diego. Exactly. And technology these days, you can actually be featured on each other's album and exactly. never meet each other. Yes. So that's kind of really cool. Yeah. Hey, what's what's new with Fidel? What's what's Man. new with you? Well, right now I'm actually on tour. When I say I'm on tour, this is actually like my 11th day on the road. Um, yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm on a college tour slash kind of Florida tour. This is like my seventh date in Florida in the last 10 days. Um, and I think I, I was at Ole Miss last week. I'll be at Oklahoma State next week. I'll be at Arkansas State next week. I'll be at Mississippi State the week after that and in New Mexico. So it sounds like, sounds like to me you're only picking the state colleges. <laughs> so when you're in New Mexico, you're probably going to be in Las Cruces at <laughs> New Mexico State. Am I right? I, yeah, I guess so. Are you only I, picking the, the colleges that have state at the end? I think so, man. I, I don't Why know. Why no love to the University of New Mexico? You, you know. know Everyone's a Lobo. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> no, but I'm on the road, man. I'm on the road heavy. Um, and I'm, I have a mixtape coming out in November and an album coming out in April 2013. Uh, the album Club David in stores now is doing great. That's right. I Club forgot about David. Club David. Club David. Club David. Club David. Club David. Club David. Yeah, the mixtape called Members Only coming out next month. I guess I need to finish that really quick. Uh, Members Only coming out next month. And the album coming out April next year. So, and I'm on the road, man. Just on the road, grinding. The the mixtape that's coming out, man. It's gonna be another level of content that people have not heard from Fidel in a while. So, who are you working with? Who, oh, who can we expect on the new mixtape? Man, I, I, let me let me not let me. Uh, okay, people. Well, I know. Right Don't now, censor yourself. You're I'm, trying to think, what can I say? What can well, I say? I'm, you know how I roll, Jam the Hype, man. You're right. You just need to, you need to pour yeah. the beans out on the you table. Know, you know how artists can be. Uh, most likely, my man Dre Murray will be on it. All right, so Dre um, Murray is going to be on the mix. It's we'll a make good that chance, happen. a good chance if J Jason. Somebody tweet and Dre Jason Murray. Been, yeah, tweet Dre. <laughs> me and Jason have been working together. Me and Victory have been working together. What about we, Jacob, man? You can get Jacob on that? Jacob is on Club David. No, look. Jacob is on my album Club David. Make sure you get that song. He killed the hook. He produced the beat. Like he, it was great. It was great. He charged me a million dollars though. So I just want y'all to talk to him about that. That's how he rolls though. He That's so he can keep up with his Lego collection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's on the album. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Okay, so you're talking about who's gonna be on the new mixtape. Yeah, so I'm when is it gonna be available, all that good November, stuff? November, around Thanksgiving. And I'm working with a bunch of people, and you know, you still gotta make your cuts. But I just tell you this, the things that I'm talking about on there, you want to hear. And the artist that's going to be on there, you want to hear. So, so what are you talking about? Are you getting into some, like, deep subjects? Yes. It's, it's kind of like an untold story. Like, I'm a preacher's kid. I grew up in the streets. And that's a story that hasn't been told. And How I does a like, preacher's kid grow up in the streets? Oh, uh, <laughs> a preacher's kid grows up in the streets when he lives in somewhere like Memphis, Tennessee. And he's the product of a broken home and an abusive home. So what happens is when you see that in your home, it pushes you somewhere else because your home is no longer a safe place. You end up running somewhere else. And but Memphis in, is tough, man. Yes. And when I was there, we have two documentaries 
on History Channel for Gangland in the years I was there, like when I lived there, you know? And so just that dichotomy, seeing things like, you know, the, the good and bad of the church, like those are things that I Were you ever in a gang? Oh, yeah. You, so you, you straight up thugged it out? Thugged it out, dude. I didn't know that. And I, I, because I don't act like, I don't, that's, you know, I, I mean, you know, I know dudes who are street dudes. Yeah, you could, totally, you could totally tell that God has changed your heart, renewed your mind. Oh, man. Because I, I never would have guessed that you yeah. used to, like, you used to bang, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, for me, it was just, like, I, the things that I've seen and been a part of, I don't get to talk about them a lot. And I feel like even the way I think, the way I care about people, hurting people, um, all of that is what I'm talking about on the mixtape. Like, I talk about everything from my difficult relationship with my mom, with my father, like everything. And like it kind of starts a story because I feel like it's only right now for people to start learning who I am. If people do you wrong now, let's say somebody has beef with you or somebody does you wrong, uh -huh. do you ever find it tough? Like, do you ever find yourself resorting back to that, like, that lifestyle of like, man, you don't know who I am. I, I you don't know where I come from. Do you ever find yourself getting there? You have to reel yourself back in and be like, that's not who I am anymore. I've had a temper. Even after I committed my life to Christ, it took years for me to, to uh, for my temper to get better. Me and my father, and just cut me off if I go too long, but me and my father, like, it took, I just forgave my father three years ago. When I say I forgave him, that means I woke up one morning, told my wife, I'm going to see him. I drove six hours, met with him, and said, I'm sorry. He didn't apologize. Um, and but we literally we didn't reconcile. But I did what God told me to do, which is obey. That's you where Club David him, comes and from. You yes, told him, I'm sorry for anything that I may I've have done. done. Yes, yeah. and and but at that part that changed my life. Hardest thing I ever did, like hardest thing I ever did. But I knew, and that's where Club David came from. God called David a man after His own heart because he was obedient. He sinned, but he repented. Like David was obedient, you know. And and so for me that was the step of like doing that for my father, and it was tough because. He's like he was wrong, but it, it's like it's not what it's about. Like it's kind of like the gospel, you know what I mean? Like so, with that, I took a trip down there, sat down with him, first time in 14 years. Me and my father had police called on us. First time in 14 years. 14 years. That you haven't spoken to your father. No, no, now, no. Not that we haven't spoke. That we had a cordial. We spoke in a way that was. It was just surface stuff. It was police. Oh. It was yeah. It was like when we would be when we'd be together. Police would have to be close. People would have to be close. You know, I just, I just started uh, a men's Bible study where we're going through a book called Bond of Brothers. Mm. And, and have you, do you know what I'm talking about? I've heard. In the first chapter, there's a line that says, the man that we should know the most in our life, which is our father, yeah. is most oftentimes the man we know least about. Yes. Because men, we don't open up. We don't communicate don't. with each other. We keep everything surfacing. Yeah. Like, look, can I piggyback off that? Piggyback off One of the take things it. that helped me to, to start the process of forgiving my father was that I went and found people that knew him and I asked them about how he grew up. And when I learned how he grew up, it definitely. You understood him more. Perspective. Right. You know what I mean? Now, it doesn't, he's still held responsible for his actions, but as far as me taking a step, it helped. Because when you see, wow, this, 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 you're like, that's tough. So how deep can you and your father get now? Can you guys sit down and talk about deep? No, well, he, this is stuff that my father, he he's my father has always been somebody who he wants me to know that I am he, he doesn't want me to feel good about myself. He doesn't really want me to do well unless he could take all the credit. Like he doesn't, you know, so for me and him, even though there's been a, a, a like a, you know, kind of like a, a level of peace, I could get it like I could get, I could be somewhere tomorrow if he's there. He will come there and try to make my life difficult. You know what's cool about that? You know, yeah. the, you know the silver lining in all of this yeah. is that we're still young dudes, yeah. and then we can learn from stuff like that. We can't. Oh and yes. So with our children and our families, yes. we're we not, know, yes. we're, we're not going to do that. Yes. Hey man, we we've gone a little too long, man. Thank you so wow. much, my homie Fidel. Hold on, real quick. Walk it like I'm changed. Walk it like I'm. Walk. I'm gonna be everything they <laughs> All right, let's go back. Red carpet, my man Jacob. Yo. Do you think, homie? Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Yo. I'm here with a man named Yo, Double. Now, now, see, the funny thing about it is, like, I, I, I was telling this little story. Chris Chicago, Chris Chicago, can you guys, y'all got me in the, in the mic? Can y'all hear me? Okay, Chris Chicago, his name as a rapper, because most people don't even know that he used to be a rapper. 
but his name as a rapper was C Doublelicious. So what do you? I need to know what you as being double, because to me that's kind of that's like kind of copyright infringement or something. Like he's kind of stepping over. I mean, even though you can't, you probably came out after him, you know. But still, he ain't he ain't using it no more. So so you got to You got to do something about that. So tell me what you feel about his <laughs> about his name. Yeah, I, I I mean I think I definitely put a little bit more delicious and delicious. <laughs> But uh, nah, man, Chris Chicago, that's that's family, man. So you know, whatever whatever variation of double he wants to use, yeah. he got it. He got it. Yeah. Cool. So tell people about yourself, man. Your name is Double. Where are you from? What are you about? Um, from uh, originally from Connecticut, but I'm I'm in, I'm in Atlanta. I'm part of the City Takers team with uh, Scott Free. We do the ministry out there, man. You know what I'm saying? We we really live in it. You know, we 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 go to the homeless shelters. The wide the wide youth detention centers, the prisons, and really just doing doing the um, the ministry and doing the mission and carrying the commission out. We do the the, uh, the city takers events once a month in Atlanta. So look us up, citytakers.com. And um, but other than that, I am an artist as well. I dropped an album named Dub Zero last year, and uh, I went through some 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 crazy uh, things, some crazy label things. And uh, but now we're pushing, um, and I got a single. Okay, okay. he's t he's telling me to ask you about the record that you signed, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Drama? I will tell you this. <laughs> I will tell you this. Just be led by what God shows you instead of running after the natural, uh, what you see with your natural eye, because um, what, what resources, resources look good sometimes. And, and, and really, you know, man, we serve the king that with all, of all resources. So you don't have to run after somebody to do something for you, especially when they ain't going to do it anyways. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying? You know, um, so we working on we working on freedom right now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, just to be free from 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 all of that. But um, I mean, one thing I will say though is during this during this year of being in this situation, God has shown me to really be more about the ministry than than the artist. So I I actually was able to put the artist in the back seat and just and just um, go with go with what He gave me to do, man. That's a that's that's a that's a pretty uh, good testimony right there because a lot of people wonder that you know my. Me and my sister can testify as soldiers back in the day, like label drama, all of that. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good testimony, especially when you're an artist and you're at these events, Flavor Fest 2012, you're just rubbing shoulders with all these artists. Like, to be able to talk to them and let them know where it needs to come from, you know, especially since you're doing ministry, you're talking about Christ on your music, you want to really come from the right spot, right place, right? So that's, that's a good testimony, man. I'm glad that you're, you're able to do that. I, I tell you, like, there's nothing with gr wrong with grinding and pushing the mixtapes and putting, investing money behind promotions, and you need to do all of that. But first, like, you have to serve. Like, you really have to serve where God wants you to be. I've, I've, I've gotten more off of serving than I've gotten off of when I was grinding and putting money behind everything. And I'm still doing that, but God is really teaching me the balance of, and, and I'll say this, and I'm going to take this from Scott, from Scott Free, like, when Jesus was out doing his ministry, when he was out there healing and laying hands and, and, and uh, casting demons out, he, if you look, he said, like, go and tell no one. And yet his name still spread across the land without Twitter, without Instagram, or without Facebook. So if we, if we put that first, man, God will open doors and put us before people that, that, that will amaze us. I mean, I'd, I'd have been in the midst of some of your favorite rappers and, and they know me because they know my character and they see me and they see what, what we do in Atlanta. And, and, and that has grown my ministry and my, my, me as double, you know, way past the stuff that I used to do back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But now it's That's time dope. to get back to work. So. That's dope. That's dope. I love it. I love it. So what, what can people expect from you? Well, actually, let me first ask you about this event. You're here as an artist, as a, as a team with, with City Takers, right? Are you guys performing here? No, nah, we're not performing. Uh, we just we just here to show love. So where can people see you guys next and what's coming up next for, for I guess, your whole squad and you as an artist? Uh, we got City Takers coming up um, October 26th. We have Jason and Raw Servant um, here in, there in Atlanta. In November, we'll have uh, Eshawn Burgundy. And, you know, so just stay connected with City Takers and what we do. And uh, as, as far as me, like, I got a video dropping soon named Renegade, called Renegade that, that Space Cherry produced. We got a remix coming right after that with Sean Locke. And uh, we pushing, man. We pushing. Look, look, just look out. 
Okay, so look out for my boy Double, dude. Thank you for coming through, man. Thank you for coming through. Tell everybody I said what's up. Hopefully we can get Scott Free in here yes, yes. at some point so we can interview him. him Snatch him up. We need a freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go up against him because I don't freestyle, but yeah, we'll bring him, we'll bring him up. We'll bring him up. Who we got? We got Chris out there? We got anybody with Chris? No, no, it don't look like it, man. All right, brother. All right, man, jamthehype.com. Jamthehype.com, that is where you will get the live stream right now of Flavor Fest 2012. And the beautiful thing about this, man, is this: there is, like, artists after artists after artists coming through these doors, man, and it's dope. You like, can finish your tweet. Cats, it's all, <laughs> is he tweeting? It's all the cats that like you see on you know you see on, on, on in the magazines on Rapzilla yada yada yada. So this is the spot to catch a Flavor Fest 2012. I, I wasn't nice. just gonna leave you hanging over here. It, it looked like you were, so I was just about to start dancing. You're like, or welcome everybody to like, Jamahype.com. Welcome on down. And we got food going on right now. My name is Jacob. <laughs> I like Legos. <laughs> You're gonna get it, dude. You're gonna get it. We Man. are we are broadcasting live at Jamahype.com. We, did you finish your tweet? Get your phone get, out. Get you need out, to tell man. your people, people right now so they can come them. see you live. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give him a moment That's here to tweet. Up, Go ahead and talk about Legos, Jacob, nah, so dude. he can tweet. I'm not cool with Legos, dude. This is what happened. Chris started. He started this whole thing. He heard a lyric in a song. I won't even say who, because you're tearing up his song. You're tearing up his song, dude. He's gonna be mad at you. If anybody puts the my name is Jacob playing my with Legos. <laughs> Dude, he started tweeting, talking about how I'm playing with Legos in the bathroom. I don't know, man. People, I got man, all in the bathroom playing with Legos. Yeah. It's all nice. right, here's the deal. This is what I'm going to do. If you're watching right now, jamthehype.com, if you could tell me what artist and what song Ooh. that I'm talking about when I'm go. out, I'm in the bathroom playing with Legos, we're going to give you a CD prize pack. We're going to give you a brick of CDs. I'm talking about Ooh. all the hottest stuff. We'll give you the new Lecrae. We'll give Ooh. you the new Triple E. We'll give you the new Jacob stuff. We'll give you a huge Yo. prize pack of CDs that's right good, now. That's a good pack. If you could tell me what song that I'm, you say that I'm tearing up, right? In the bathroom playing with Legos. When I'm talking that's about playing with Legos. <laughs> You're the Lego master, Dude, man. No, Jacob no. right here, he's got that Lego swag. You know no what I mean? Lego he's going to get the shirt. It's going to be no hashtag Lego swag. Lego swag. swag. All day. All right, so in case you, in case you uh, don't know who this is right now, he's the man who likes to play with rubber duckies. It is Mr. Proper Duck himself, <laughs> Lil Profit. Ooh. Why did you bring me on here, Chris? You know every time that I'm at Flavor Fest or I'm in Florida or we're in the same venue, the same event, then I'm going to pull you on camera. I'm going to pull you on the microphone because we're family and we have a good time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's what's the family part? What's what's so now we're not them. See, last year when we did a broadcast, we were actually on Way TV on Direct Direct TV. We did a show, and I actually started the interview with saying I don't like this dude, and then you said, "Why are you always hating on me, Chris Chicago?" And I was like, "I don't like you." And you're like, "But we're family." That's what you said. Now. Yeah. I'm not mean to him. I'm actually saying I like him, and you're saying, "Well, we're not family." He's getting What's you it back. Now? He's getting you back. It's payback. It's payback. How's your family? How's Kaz? How's how's uh your your father? Good. Kaz is good. He'll be here. Uh, Pops is probably watching right now. Wifey will be here tonight. Um, a lot of my other dudes, my cast, my artists, they'll be here tonight. So we're doing good. Why? He knows you about. Like he's like. So, he's so concerned. He's like he's looking like, at me like, "What is he?" About? No, I just you got something up your sleeve. You never interview anybody else like this, but me. No, he he went in on KJ. He went in on and then KJ. Oh. Went in on him. Well, yeah, that's KJ, of course. Okay. okay. KJ's from here. And I'm I'm about to get serious right now. In front of this live viewing audience, jamthehype.com. How old are you now, Little Prophet? 24. You're 24 now? Yes. When are you going to grow up? <laughs> I, I'm, not mean, I'm not trying to be facetious. Am I taking the little off? Is that what you're asking? When are you going to take the little off? I don't know, man. 24. Don't you think it's about time? Wayne still got his little. He's in his 30s. Let me make he a million a for us. He does have I'll a take point. It off. He has a point. Wayne's got his little. I want to see that tweet that go out right now. What? <laughs> if Wayne's got his little. By the way, if you want to win that CD prize pack, tweet us at Jam the Hype. Okay, so you're never going to change the little. You're just going to be a little profit. When I make a million. When you make a million dollars. Change the little. So that's what it's all about for you is making a million dollars. The name is 
not everything. So you think the name Little Profit is a million dollar name? Jacob, what do you think? Dude, I don't know. I mean, I honestly it's don't possible. know. It's <laughs> anything's possible. Jacob, do you think? Jacob, <laughs> anything's possible, bro. Anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, what is new with Little Profit? You got new music coming out? Just dropped a new video yesterday. Eshan Burgundy, right? Eshan, Good Look Multimedia. Ooh. Ooh. On a straight and narrow mixtape, no, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, good. and Prayers. Um, we dropped the revelation. Blood, Sweat, and what? Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Prayers. Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Prayers. I like that. Yeah, um, from Jay Harris out of Jackson. Are you laughing, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> He's just, he's just like, he knows something, something's up. Something's coming. I, I know, know something's, something's coming. Too, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what's up, but it just seems like something's up. Everybody that's watching this is probably laughing right now. How are they going to take my, my plug seriously? All right, so Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Prayers <laughs> is the new song. And when, when can we expect to hear it? You can download that on noisetrade.com. It'll be on the front page, Straight and Arrows yeah. Mixtape. Uh, the new videos on my YouTube slash Little Profit TV Revolution. That's on iTunes. Revolution videos on my YouTube page. They know you've been promoting they know. it, they know. or have you? I like the song Revolution. You see, a lot of people don't know that you're also you also like to sing. So you sung the hook for Revolution, right? A revolution now. Yeah, that was me. How does the hook go? Okay. We want a revolution. Revolution. Yeah, that's it. He's tearing it up like he tore that's up that it. other dude's song. That's it. Because <laughs> I can't do this no more. <laughs> we'll just do radio interviews for this. This interview's <laughs> over. You're done being on the camera. All right. All right. Thank, Little Profit, thank yeah. you so much. Little Profit. Little Profit. I'm changing the show to the Little Profit show. Little Profit show. His last name's not even Chicago. Yeah. Thanks for, All thanks right. for being What's on, What's going dude? down? It's your man, oh. Little Profit. Oh, you going My in. My man, you're Jacob. Going in. The Chris Chicago Show, you know what it is. We at live Flavor Fest 2012. And I um, want to give a big shout out to my man, Chris Chicago. We don't like each other, you know what I'm saying? The I don't like family. his radio show. He doesn't like my music. But we always support each other, you know what I mean? That's, how, but, that's uh, what it's all about, man. But I'm going to get out your way, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to get two mics, dude. Let Jacob do I'm it. I'm going to get two mics. What's going on? What's going on? Anybody want to grab this mic, they can come and grab it, dude. We are live Flavor Fest. 2012. Who is this now? Who this coming in? Let me hand you the mic, bro. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Tell people your name. Disciple. 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 Di. Disciple. Wait a minute. Disciple. Why do I know that, dude? Why do I know that? Why do I know that? Um, Sweet Sixteens. Fanatic party over here. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Probably. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably um, it. So tell people. Tell people about why you're here. You know, a little bit about your your music. Who you are. Um. Well been rhyming for the Lord since 1997, but okay. been releasing projects since 2004. Um, it's really my first time at Flavor Fest, man, and I'm, nice. I'm, I'm excited about being able to fellowship with other people who do Christian hip-hop, because yeah. I don't get that chance often. Yeah. Um, and, you know, learning new ways and new strategies on how to engage the culture, the culture for the glory of God. Okay. Um, and, you know, I'm just a fan of authentic, God-glorifying hip-hop music, yeah. so... Yeah. Wait, now, where are you from? I'm from Boston. Boston? Boston, Massachusetts. Ooh, ooh, I got you. So you know Apple Jacks? Yes, I do. Ah. My brother. Okay. My brother. Okay, go yeah, pick up, go pick just, up the Breakfast Club. He no, just, so. just tweeted me just a minute ago, Did he? Dude. Yep, yep. Okay. He just tweeted me, man. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. what's up, man. Yep. That's what's up. Okay, cool. So are you guys performing here? Or are you and your crew, whoever you with, you guys performing here today? Or are you just... Me and my man Domingo Guyton, uh, we actually participated in the booth. Um which is a new component that they're okay. adding to Flavor Fest this year. Okay. Um, it's it's pretty much a video of us spitting some, you know, on some hip hop stuff, spitting okay. some stuff that we recorded in all together in okay. the same studio. Okay. Uh, so it should be it should be good. It should and be good. That's what you guys I, are gonna be doing here. Yeah. Yep, okay. yep. I haven't seen the final product yet. We went to the studio last night, recorded the recorded the video, and you know what I'm saying okay. recorded the rhymes and all that. Yeah. So. Okay, so tell Looking people forward. real quick, the people that are out there, TV Land and all that, that have not ever experienced the Flavor Fest, tell them a little bit about what you've experienced so far, you know, with, with just being here at Flavor Fest, being live. So far, uh, as far as Flavor Fest goes, I've experienced obviously dope music, but fellowship and real insight as to what it means to be a Christian hip-hop artist, and not just the artist side of it. Um, 
the side where you have to be a human being. You know what I mean? Where you have to be somebody who effectively engages the culture yeah. both on and off the stage. Okay. When people are zeroing into your music and when people aren't. Like, because as an artist, there's a lot of things that, uh, that can trip you up. Got you. If you're yeah. not careful. For sure. And if you're not rooted in your word, man, and, and, and really seeking God. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Things can get thrown into the wrong perspective for you. So I've just appreciated being encouraged and reinvigorated by the fact that no matter how big we think we are, yeah. God is bigger. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So tell people where they can listen to your music, where they can find out more about you. You got a website, Twitter, all that? Yeah, yeah. I'm on Twitter. Follow me on. Follow me at Disciple614. Disciple614. I also got a couple projects out on iTunes. Uh, the Freedom LP, which came out. Uh, two year, uh, a couple years ago in 2010, a fanatic from the Cross Movement and Shaolin are both on it. Uh, go to iTunes, type in Disciple Di, and you'll find all my projects. The Freedom LP and uh, the newest project I just came out with called the Mission EP. That's also on iTunes. Type in Disciple Di, both under whole multimedia, and we just want to give God the glory with this, yo. Dope, Word dope. Up. That's Disciple, man. So check all that out, dude. We got someone else coming in in a minute. You you have a great rest of the time here. Flag Absolutely. 2012. Nice you to too, man, you, brother. All right, God bless. God bless, y'all. All right, man, who we, got? who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Chris Chicago. I want a Jesus jam. I want okay. a Jesus okay. jam. I want a slam jam. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Move in your hands. Yeah. Move in your hands. Hold on, hold on. I want to do it with you real quick. You like the fro? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Except you got a cleaner fro, dude. How you do that? If I can do that crazy look like you, man, I'd do it. I just, my yeah, hand, my, my, my head just kind of sticks wherever it sticks. Vice Bow, versa. You know yeah, I, mean? I woke up and just went like this. See? And that was it. No, I had to put some stuff in mine. Yeah, hey. okay. yeah, man, I had okay. to. You know what I mean? All right, you all know, right. Pomade, shout out, <laughs> sponsor me. Look. Pomade. I, I wonder how many followers you're going to get just based off of. Dude. Follow me, at Raw Serving. Yo, Come on, man. Yeah, that's Raw. Let's make it happen. It's the tight fit, too. Oh, like, yeah. You it's know. like they see it. That's it. Come on, come on, Jay. Hey, they see you, it. You know nowadays. You we, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Everybody's on that American Apparel. Look, you, you know, know tight. Okay. We try. I mean, you know, we're trying to he compete got one with too. Jeff Adams. He got he's one like, too. A, he's like he got a, one too a, that a, says a rock star. That's he, trying to work his out. says C double licious. Oh, yeah. Right off. You know what I'm saying? It's Man, this dope. dude's trying hard to it's get pretty, me on a feature. This dude's trying so hard to get me on the new mixtape. C double licious. Double licious. But it wouldn't fit on the front. It was too long. You know what I'm saying? So it wraps. C Double Licious. Dude, that way. was my first single ever. It was called C Double Licious. Oh, that's when he was working with Big Daddy Weave. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you were the, you were the other. I was Ooh. before Big Daddy Weave, he homie. Okay, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Always great to see you, Chicago. You know what I mean? It's good to see you too, man. What's new with Ross River? You got a whole new sound. Whole new sound. You got a band now. Yep. Uh, we got a band now. You know what I mean? Moving and shaking with that, leading into the worship. Yeah. Incorporating rock, hip hop, reggae. You know what I mean? Of course, pop. You know, we're. We're in an international uh, mindset, you know, yeah. of, of a sound, you know, striving to, you know, just bridge gaps, man, you know, yeah. as, as much as we can. And of course, we did that with On Fire, and, and you've seen the growth, man, you know what I mean, from the reggae to, you know, the pop to, you know, whatever else got, you know. In the club, the, the <laughs> what was the club track you had back, like, 10 years oh, ago? Man, I, I don't know, but we did something crazy <laughs> called Holiness, and we ended up making that like an Isley Brothers. Holiness was <laughs> after your crazy club yeah. track. Shake something. That's what yeah. you're uh, Shake something. Yeah. Shake yeah. something. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Shake Dude. something while I'm playing with Legos. <laughs> Remember, if you and know Cheerios. where that lyric is from, if you know where that lyric is from, you will win. A what CD is, prize pack. CD All prize you got to do pack. is tweet us at Jam the Hype. Well, what is the exact hey. lyric though? You got to tell people. No, the exact lyric. It actually, it actually wasn't a lyric. He just made that up. No, no, we no, been going a lyric. all day. He, he took a lyric from some dude's song. We were jamming. Who. We was jamming in the car. We were jamming and in the car. He's tearing it up. Like, I mean, it's not. I think I think the exact I think the exact lyric was when you were in the condo. Was it condo no, or were you in the apartment? Were you in the hood playing? Yeah, apart, I think it was oh, apartment. Don't in say the who hood it was. with your Legos. Don't say who I was, was outside. Yeah, try yeah. to beat the block or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Don't say who it is. It basically would have been like, you know, I'm from Nashville, so I would have been Nashville, my city, dog. You know exactly, what I'm saying? exactly. <laughs> I give y'all a hint. No, no hints. <laughs> Dude is a beast. You hear me? Okay. Lethal with it. Beast. Straight gutter. You know beast. what I mean? <laughs> You'll know who he is. He's gutter. Yeah, he's your dirty, right? He's, he's hood. <laughs> he's so hood. He's so hood. He brought the hood. <laughs> he made the hood what the oh. hood is. He, hood, he like the hood star, you know what I mean? Ooh, okay. That's a new he name. Hood. That's, that's, that's hood. You know what I mean? Hood. And if you ain't got that, homie, 
Go get that domain, because that's you. You know what I mean? <laughs> shout out. I love you. I wish I, could tw I wish I could shout your name, man. I already, you know, anyways. Go ahead. <laughs> we love the dude, though. We, we could just say that. We love, love him. It. Okay, so, so Ross Servant, I think the last time we talked to you, there was possibly a transition that was going to go on, possibly a transition of you leaving the Ross Servant behinds and actually going with your real name, which is Eddie Puyol. Uh, you know, still, still in it. Every, everywhere I go, I let people know, yo, I'm Eddie P, a.k.a. Raw Servant. So kind of branding that tag. And let's see where it goes, you know what I mean? Well, this, I mean, this is still brand new Raw Servant. If you're, you're going to make the transition, you can't come into public in it on in front of the whole world at jamthehype.com with at Raw Servant if you're going to be switching to <laughs> at, at Eddie Puyol. You just never know what I'm going to do. I switch up always. So, you know, stay on the Ooh. lookout. Follow me. You'll see. Always. Our executive producer, his name is Derek Coyam, and um, he's a he's a big fan. <laughs> he's, he, he's a he's a big fan of Ross Servant. What is, what is your favorite song, Ross Servant? You always, it's Jesus Jam. He loves Jesus it. Jesus Jam. Our executive producer right now, he would love it if you if you sang a little Jesus Jam to him. <laughs> we want a Jesus Jam. Come uh -huh. on, we. You already got it. Look at. <laughs> how's how's the sing? You got a single out right now at radio. I was driving. Actually, me and Derek were actually driving through Podunk, Missouri, two weeks ago. That's what he does. That's what he does. <laughs> and we heard, we heard your latest single that's at radio now, yeah, "Falling in, in Love." Man, falling in love is just that. You know what I mean? You got me falling in love. I'm in love with Jesus. You know what I mean? So that's the <laughs> bottom line. And of course, you know what I mean? It's something I wanted to pen to push push the limit as far as we can. You know what I mean? Like like my boy Jake doing, you know what I mean? Striving to, you know, reach out to the world in in, in all sorts of, of, of lyrical, you know, content and kind of catch them on a 22. Yeah. Be like, look, this can be used for God, you know, horizontally or vertically. You know what I mean? And I think, I think Falling in Love is definitely doing that. It's a good song. You actually have a feature on that track from... Uh uh, Million, and he raps about what cake or something. Well, you know, he, 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 he's <laughs> that kid that goes. Man, I'm so in love with you, like fat kids and cinnamon swirls. You know, <laughs> is he trying to take a shot at me? Well, I don't know. Was it C Doublelicious? I, I think, think yeah, he's exactly. A shot at C yeah, Doublelicious, exactly. You know, your other, side. <laughs> <laughs> your other side. All right, you already know what it is, my homie. Yeah, you already. We Eddie we Puyol. Say this. Eddie I like when people tea. come like this because we ain't got to say much. It's just we like, ain't got to say nothing. It's just like right there. Right here you know at a muscle <laughs> tee. You know what I mean? Raw servant, baby. Holla at me. These yeah. are the dudes. You know hear I me? Mean? Jam the hype, baby. It's all about it. It's all about the hype. All Don't get it twisted. About it. One of these days, we're going to get uh, we're gonna get a feature in one of his songs. He's going to say jam the hype. Absolutely. Jam the hype. Absolutely. Just never know what I'll do next, man. <laughs> Be on the lookout. Here, I'll give you the lyric. Follow. I'm going to give you the lyric right now. This is the lyric. You can say... I'm so hype like Chris Chicago. I'm so hype like Chris Chicago. No, you don't say it now. I was giving you the lyric for your next song. <laughs> I did it. I just did it. That was it. it. All right. That we're it. You're we're coming to you live, that. by the way, in case you're wondering, in case you're just yeah. tuning in, you're like, what's going on? It is Flavor Fest 2012. And uh, we have uh, people from all over the world that's here. They come together. It's an urban leadership conference. And this year, the theme is next lead. Lead yeah. next, now. Is now. next is now, and so you are a big part of that whole movement. Can you tell us the concept? I know you're not you're not Pastor uh, uh, Tommy Tommy Colonin, but but what does lead next to ne next is now mean to Ross Servant? You know, we have the ball in our court. We're gonna dictate and shape how the how the generation you know that's now and coming up is gonna be like yeah. what they're gonna what they're gonna feed into what they're gonna look look like what they're gonna sound like what they're gonna what, what they're gonna be involved in. We're leading that, you know what I mean. And if we don't lead it in a positive light, you know what I mean. Constantly put the word of God, you know, at the forefront and lead by example. You know, show show what's really happening and how much God loves us. You know what I mean, and enjoys us, not mad at us, this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? If we don't do that and we don't set the trend, mm. then the world will keep on trend setting Absolutely. and we'll keep on losing, you know, the battle that in Jesus Christ that we believe has already been won. So I think it's right now that we have to step up, you know, into what God has called us to Absolutely. be. You know what I mean? That's warriors, you know, forefront on the front line, you know what I mean? More than more than conquerors the whole nine. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So and that's what we're doing. We're leading by example. You know, even in this music thing, they they said that we couldn't mix hip-hop with rock yeah. and, and reggae right, right. and they said that hip-hop couldn't you know fit into worship and we're yeah. doing that you know Absolutely. what i mean so we're leading 
you know? So that's what All right, so here's the deal. Make sure to follow him, Abra Servant. I know you got to go. I know you got to run. Thank you so much again for yeah. being on the program. Chris Chicago is the bomb.com and then the something. Don't forget about my man Jake. Jam the hype. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Um, I know I know we have slated out there. We got K Drama that's gonna be on Ooh. the show today. K-Drama. We have uh right. we have uh, Bobby Tinsley. I haven't heard from that cat in a while. No, Bobby Tinsley's been, in the it's house. Been a it's, it's been a been minute a for minute. Bobby Tinsley. <laughs> um, and so we, we have some artists lined up. Hey, uh, hey, La- Mike Laxton, who do we got? Who do we got lined up ready to come on the program? Anybody? Uh, you you, you know, this is just how we roll when we're this live. How we roll, dude. It's live. It's all. Let's live. get. Uh, let's get. Let's get. Let's get some K drama for your mama in here. Oh, he got Batman socks on. Let's. Get, he's got Batman socks dude. on. Look at this. Come on to the program. Ooh. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen at jamthehype.com. Drama. What up, brother? How you doing, man? <laughs> Let's get you right in the middle of us. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. People got to see the outfit, dude. People got to see the outfit. Flex on them, you know. Dude. Got the muscles. Dude. Until I get there. Fake it till you make it. That, that's something else. That's something else. Can you tell us what, I mean, I know Batman inspired it, but what, what did you, when you woke up, Mm-hmm. And you put this outfit on. What were you thinking? Well, it's funny. Uh, I had to rap at a costume party. Ooh. And so okay. I was like, you know, how can I be kind of hip hop ish, but <laughs> but still be weird, but get away with it? Because it was a straight hip hop crowd. Okay. And none of them really dressed up, which kind of was embarrassing. Kind of messed it but up. But huh? what I did, this <laughs> shirt, if you look <laughs> right, if straight messed it up. There's Velcros, Ooh. so I can attach a cape. You to had it. a cape on and yeah, everything. Yeah, they were, they loved. They it. loved and it. And then they loved the cape on the socks. That's that's what yeah, really that's, gets them. So, yeah, don't leave so, those uh, laying around, dude, because yeah, Chris it, will take them, dude. Because he had a Sea Delicious outfit, oh, and man. I keep bringing it up, but he said it had capes on the socks. I could, so, I, I, yeah, exactly. I I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine what you would look like in this outfit, Jacob. Dude, that would be I think, you, I think you could rock but this. But I'd have to make it a little more fitted, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just because that's kind of that's how right, I Right, yeah, and it works well for you. you know? Yeah, me, I got I, I to gotta work out a little bit more until I can, you know what I'm saying, tighten it up a little bit. <laughs> when you come out with a workout album, Ooh. you kind of have to represent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to. Yeah. And so I made sure for Flavor Fest, I was at least close to the weight I was. <laughs> Even though I, I must admit, I, I did like a low carb thing, and I'm trying. I'm praying that it doesn't um, bounce back on yeah. me. But you know that stuff does. But I'm like, let me just slowly. Inc- but I do want to be fit. That you're talking to a fat guy, man. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you be seeing my Instagram. I go, I go low carb every other week, bro. That's how we do it. See, that's. <laughs> but you know, you be seeing my Instagram. I be Instagramming pancakes, Instagramming five guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, it is important to be fit because, like, yeah. when you're on stage, and it, you'll see, like, as much as I like to jump around, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? If my stamina yeah. ain't up and uh-huh. whatnot. So I'm trying, but it, it's like the, it's like the, you know, the walk with Jesus. Like, yeah, it's it's a beast every day. You got to be working out your salvation with fear and trembling. So that's why I made the album. It's like there's a correlation between physical working out and spiritual fitness. So absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. man. All right, so K Drama, you you're actually here at Flavor Fest 2012. You actually did a seminar this morning, which we broadcast live at jamthehype.com. If you missed it, well, you missed out. But can you give us? See, when I was in high school, I never read the books. I did the cliff notes. Okay. <laughs> Give me, I think your session was like an hour long. Yeah, it was Give awesome. us the 60 second cliff notes of your session that you did. Right. Condense them from 60 Condense. minutes Condense. to Jeez. 60 seconds. Bullet points, man. Oh, Bullet God. points. So, what we did, so what we did was we talked about maximizing your time okay. uh, with family. It's like from consolidating ministry events with your family, bringing your family with you, uh, making sure you uh, maximize time with your family by disconnecting from the internet, the yeah. phone, being with your family, but also realizing that sometimes you could try to maximize your family time so much that you miss out on ministry time. Sometimes it's too much family time, not enough ministry time. But when you spend quality time with your family, you won't feel guilty for being on the road, you know, yeah. for four days straight or things like that. And then we talked about D-Mob was also doing it. He was talking about not too much grinding, too much music, not enough family time, how to manage your money. And uh, we're just encouraging people that want to do music full time. Like, look, it's possible, but you may have to live a more humble life, drive a 96 Camry maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, lower your bills, watch Netflix yeah. instead of cable, etc. Yeah, yeah. So I think that was 60 seconds. <laughs> now that was really good. Well, I'll, t- I'll t- tell you this <laughs> it was uh it was a year ago that i said this to you because you told me something and i haven't seen it yet because you acted excited about it a year ago yeah, when i, I gave you this it. idea I was thinking about oh, it Lord Jesus, what is 
<laughs> K-Drama, he came to me, and he was like, man, man, Chris Chicago, I'm thinking about doing some, some children's songs. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, here's the deal. If you're okay. going to do children's songs, there's a very popular book series out right now featuring a llama. Llama, llama this. I said the song or the book that you have to do yep. that is so popular with children right now yep. is Llama Llama yeah. with K-Drama. And I got to do this. Dude, I still haven't read it yet. That's right. legit. That's that's pretty, pretty, it was a year ago. I see, you said, I'm going to go home. I'm going to read okay, the book. I am working on a children's album. It's like, it's not number one priority because I'm working on a new album that hopefully will drop in April through Cross Movement. But I'm also doing a children's album. I'm, I got one beat. It's a song about you know being angry and sinning not, okay. and it's um. But I'm gonna do it like in a in a children's way because I rap at a lot of elementary schools, but I don't have music for elementary kids. Like gotcha. I have adult songs that kids like, but I want to make songs that aren't corny, but that kids can relate to. So what is 1997, 1998 like? Hold up, what? 97, 98. Yeah, you said you were doing a record with Cross Movement Records, so you must have went back in time to 19. <laughs> 1998, right? No, no, they're I mean, still doing stuff. They're still, we are. Um, oh, I thought you went back to the future, man. No, no, no. no. Cross Movement was late 90s, wasn't right, it? They were. And then um, they had, you know, a couple big albums in the mid 2000s. But then um, a lot of artists um, are not on there anymore. But there are some new artists, and I'm one of them. And so uh, me, Young Josh, Level 316, Shakai, we're all working on albums. So, so you're going to make them relevant again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it's still relevant, man. Y'all say, it's not me, but God. I'm sorry, Cross Movement Records. I'm not trying to hate on you. I'm just. No, but it has been two years. And well, it's been a few years, man. It's like, where's Cross Movement Records right. been? But we're working on stuff. So just right. stay so tuned. So you got a whole bunch coming. Stay tuned. You got yeah, a whole bunch coming. Come. It's kind of like when you, I'm sorry to say this, but when you drink too much milk or eat, sometimes it just doesn't come out right away. Ooh. But when that's what, you don't want to know what happens just, when I drink too much. So milk. that's your comparison. That's what you're going to go on. That's the note you're going to go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shoot. I'm going to see what Cross Movement has to say about that. Right. I'm wearing Batman capes, so hopefully I get away with this, too. So, what it, what it, so who's, who's running the A&R department at Cross Movement Records <laughs> putting you in Batman socks? There is an empty chair in the A&R department Ooh. that I hope to feel. <laughs> You're going to put young Joshua in Superman socks. There it is. You're going to get level 316. They're going to become the Justice League. Listen, yep. level 316 could be A&R's. They are so fly. Ooh, their they music so is fly. fly. Okay. Yeah, their music is fly too. So, yeah. But Brandon Stubbs, um, he does a lot of the, like, there's not like an official A&R, but he does a lot of the work. Like, he just does what needs to be. He has a title, but he does everything pretty much. When so. is the 30, when is the 30, uh, the 30 year anniversary of Heaven's Mentality going to come out? Man. Or is it what, 30, 35th think, anniversary? Listen, in fit, it'll be 15 years. Cause it came Brandon, out in 70, 70, out 79? 97. <laughs> Right, I know. Did it seem like forever ago, though? Forever. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm hating so much on cross movement right now. I actually, when I was in high school, that's classic, dude. When I was in high school, I actually ditched class to go buy Heaven's Mentality. See, believe it or not, he just redeemed himself just all the way. Like all the hating was validated by that uh, skipping class 15 years. Dude, ago. I had <laughs> House of Representatives. I had oh, Heaven's Mentality, know. dude. You, I already knew. Dude, cross movement was my jam back in the day. Oh, yeah. That's my joint. That's my jam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and play it again. <laughs> I had to yeah. skip the other line. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> turn it up and play it again. Yeah, man. All right, so I'm excited that you said that there's new K-Drama coming out. Amen. There's the children album, Llama Llama with K-Drama. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you might have some copyright issues. Right. Yeah. Just, just refer it all to, to c Delicious. You know what I'm saying? Right. Thank refer thank it you all. Refer it all. All right, so <laughs> what we're going to do is, is we've, we've had enough fun, I think, Jacob. Yeah, Thank man. you so much for being on JamTheHype.com. Oh, yes, my sir. honor. Look out for me. Follow me, kdrama513, k-dramamusic.com. Yeah. Let's keep in touch. Or hit me up on Facebook, type in kdrama. Holla at your boy. All right, let's, yeah. go, to, let's go to Jeff right, Adams man. live with Bobby Tinsley. Good to find yeah, you. Yeah, you too, I'm doing well. I'm yeah, I was, I was, like, I was basically I getting some information from you. You were originally... From Orlando, correct? Uh, originally from Tampa. Tampa. So I was always in Orlando, though. So it definitely kind of feels like home, too. And you went to the Assembly of God Church there? Uh, I performed out there in Orlando at Assembly of God Church before. So did you roll? You rolled in Manuel Reyes' circle, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we did stuff with, like, CTN and 
all that whole time frame. It was about like seven years ago, man. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm I manage Group One Crew, so that's okay, why that's awesome. why yeah. I'm familiar with you. Yeah, we definitely done some stuff together before. So yeah, man. So what do you have going on now? Um, right now, I just I got a new album coming out next year. Uh, I just wrote a book called The Difference, so that actually just dropped, and it's gonna drop with the record next year, 1-1-2013. One, one, uh, and the book is the same title as the record. So I got 13 songs in the new album, 13 chapters in the book. So what, what's the book about exactly? It's about, you know, it's really just in my autobiography over the last 10 years, you know, working in mainstream as a producer and songwriter and just kind of like the drama that you go through, but also like God being able to just open up so many beautiful doors and kind of encourage people to take their life and make a difference, you know, and, and that's the whole, the whole theme behind the book, the whole message behind everything. So, so, so the 13 chapters, you just thought it out, say, hey, I want to do a book with an audio piece. So is that why there's 13 chapters of the book? Honestly, no. It's, I, I did the album first, and I've always wanted to write a book. It's just kind of been something that's always been on my heart. And, you know, um, I got to the point where, like, I started two books before and got about a quarter halfway through them, and I didn't finish them. And uh, when I finished the album, I was like, man, all these songs have such stories to them. I think I could kind of write a book with this and kind of interweave my story in with it, but also, like, talk about, you know, how I wrote the songs and all that kind of stuff. So... It just came out nice. So where can we get the book? You can get the book right now everywhere digitally books are sold. Amazon, you know, iTunes, download them to all your devices. And then we'll be coming in stores next year, probably like first quarter of next year is the goal. So, Who did the forward of the book? I got two people. Sean Smith, who's a founder of Point Blank International, an incredible, incredible evangelist and a good friend of mine. And Greg Provenzano, who is a president and co-founder of ACN, which is a telecommunications company that I work with. So... Very, very cool. So before the camera came on, you were basically saying you're in Georgia now and you're headed to Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's actually where the world headquarters is of ACN. And so we're going out there. And that's kind of something that God put on my heart about two years ago to start doing a lot of business stuff. I've had a lot of business aspirations. So we started doing that on the side. And it's been awesome for us. So, Well, you sound in incredibly, really busy. Yes. <laughs> so we, we thank you. And we're going to head back to... Um, Chris and Jacob right now. Awesome, man. Sounds great. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I always, I always love those interviews with Jeff Adams, Bobby Tinsley. You know, I love it. We're, we're interviewing a lot of buff dudes today. You see we the are. arms on Bobby Tinsley? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you see those, those pectoral muscles? Yeah. I think he's trying to compete with you, bro. Can't, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know. All right, see, so here's what we got to do. I want to <laughs> say thank you so much for watching our live broadcast of Flavor Fest 2012 yeah. at jamthehype.com. Here's what's going to happen. Later on today, we're going to be talking to Mr. Put Him in the Air. Yeah. <laughs> that's just that's how name. the song that's, goes. That's name Mr. Right put Him in the Air. Yeah. <laughs> it's boy one to get out of here. We're gonna be yeah. we're gonna be talking to him later on on yeah. the broadcast. Make sure to tell your friends, tweet about it, right on Facebook. Playbook Fest 2012 12. is happening live, live at Jam the Hype. If you want to see the concerts tonight, you have to get the yes. tickets. You have get to get the, the online ticket at flavorfest.org. You don't want to miss this, dude. Hosted by. Well, co-hosted, I'll say, by yours truly. I am Jacob and C Doublelicious. I think it's at C Doublelicious. So, no, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing do with we you. Have a, do we have a winner, though, from, real quick? Do we have time? Has Executive anybody, producer? Has anybody do we have time to real quick see if we have a winner for the, for the tweet contest? Yeah, let's find out. Mike Laxton, do we have, a, do we have a, a winner yet at Jam the Hype? Have anybody? you checked to see if we have a winner? We're going to check to see. We're giving away a CD pack. You tell them what we're giving away. I'm going to check if we have a winner. All right, you go check. We're giving away the CD pack. If you know the answers of the inside joke that me and Jake have been talking about, the playing with Legos. Not yet, not yet, not yet. So if you know what we're talking about, you'll get the CD prize back. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break. Yeah. When we come back, however, it's something you do not want to miss. It is the live session or the, the, the main session. Oh, yeah, main session. Back in the sanctuary. Yep. Flavor Fest 2012 lead next is mm. now. Next is now. And you're going to get it only at jamthehype.com. We'll yes. see you in a few minutes.